Monkey goes, and with that I say hello everyone and welcome back to Tactics Ogre Night of Lodis where last time we played we went to the Archaeopolis of Rhyme and uh, we defeated someone. Uh, what was his name? Um, maybe he's over here. Maybe he is. Uh, who was this? The warrior Sistina. No wait, that's not her. But uh, That's not the one that we defeated but that's the one we saved. Sistina Forenia, Forena. A background warrior with a liberation font. While facing interrogation by Galgistani forces in Rhyme, the resistance intervened to save her. She could need not reach accord with her rescuers, and so they parted ways. She has not been heard ever since. Oh, okay, that's uh, it's kind of normal, because uh, we kind of met her like ten minutes ago. <laughs> but Liberation Front in danger. The Liberation Front is made up of background par partisans loyal to the late King Dor Galuam. Though they promote equality regardless of ethnicity and uh, or religious uh, beliefs, their violent tactics has been called into question following a number of civilian deaths. Front leader Serva Surya Forena, so like the, the related to, has to be related to Sistina, right? Vehemently vehemently denies any part in these killings. She states that this is merely propaganda targeted at discrediting discrediting their cause. Hmm, which one is it gonna be? I have no idea. A uh, peace seeker. What is it the, uh, what is it called? Um, <clears throat> the choices I've done. Cause you can be like, oh, I think you get, like, every time you get, like, a choice that you can pick, like, do this one or do this one, you get different kinds of titles for, for that. That's kind of interesting. I guess you could, like, play completely different to how I play, which is normal, because this, this is a tactics game where you, well, you have a free choice on who is going to be in your team and who you want to make strong and everything, so that does change a lot. But anyway, let's go ahead and save again. And uh, let's go to the Fidor Castle. Yep, there you go. That's this chalk, the, the chalk used in the construction of this castle's walls gives Fidor its nickname, the Swan. It is nonetheless a powerful fortress it's situated in the middle of the island. Ah, well, well, let's uh, take a look at this place. You look awesome, my dude. Who goes there? Speak thy name. I am Leonard Racy Rimon, a so sword sworn to the knights of Almorica. I come before you, a humble servant of the great Duke Ronway, esteemed leader of the Valister. Hmm. I shall announce your arrival. Also, interesting that they each have like different colors. Because normally you have like enemies, uh, red, friends, blue, guests, yellow, sort of, sometimes, right? But this game has colors determined by your faction, which is cool. Because uh, uh, I didn't say it, but last time in the, the lost episode, the one that I deleted, uh, we had a random battle. However, it was not a random battle against red or purple people. That sounds racist. It was against uh, green clothed enemies, which is kind of like what I wanted. <laughs> I want to be green clothed. I want green armor. That'd be nice. Or oh, orange. Orange also works. I love orange and green. And also yeah, white. However, I'm not Irish. No, I'm not Italian, if uh, some might think that. But Italian has like red, white and uh, uh, green, I think. The Dark Knights make the fast and searing in Fidot Castle. See her soaring white walls? No wonder they name her the Swan. But beneath her outward beauty is a nearly impre impregnable uh, fortress. Be glad we are not tasked to take her. But just defeat everyone. That's as easy as you can uh, be. We have looked for your arrival, Sir Leona. You bring word from the Duke, the Dark Knight, Balzephon. I do indeed. Take this. I do, my lord. Oh, it's no doubt you've had a hard journey. Come, rest within our halls. 
It's like, mm, I don't know if I trust that. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Good night. We find your duke's proposal most intriguing. Hmm, have you an answer? Perhaps you had best ask my lord directly for that. So Lancelot is here in this castle. So Lancelot is? Oh gosh. Hello. Lancelot. He is. Greetings, brave knights of the Valister. I am Lancelot Tartarus. Leonor Resi, Raymond of Almorica, if it pleases you. Have you considered our proposal? <laughs> you waste no time, do you? I like that. I do have an answer for your duke. Tell his grace that his struggle with the Galgistani is of no concern to his eminence, Abuna Brita Brentin. Nor is it any concern of ours. The knights lost Lorien remain, and shall remain rutil on the matter. My thanks, sir, for your swift response. Our lord will be much pleased. Indeed, yet I must ask, do you really believe you can defeat Galgistan without our aid? Defeat Galgistan? Surely not. But such it was never our intention. All we want, all we ever have wanted, is to fashion a peace with them. The Galgastani are a proud people. Were it to come to light that we sought the aid of a foreign power, I'm afraid it would endanger the position of those in the Galgastani ranks who seek an accord as we do. Hmm. So you duke does not want to anger his neighbors by placing his problems in our hands. And Baccarin could stand to take a lesson from him. I, I did not mean to suggest. No matter. We of Lotus place much upon a man's honor. I can understand why your duke would stay in the backroom way, enjoying a life of leisure while others do their dirty work. Uh, as you says, uh, as you say, sir. Forgive me, but your henchmen are so f youthful. I feared you wanted the for. I feared you wanted for seasoned men. Though they may be young in years, my knight's skill in battle is no lesser for it. Indeed. Fun fact: Lancelot was also a young soldier. He was like 16 in his uh, first grand adventure. They freed his ex excellency and routed the Galgastani at Amorica. Moreover, it was they who came to my aid in Crisauro. Without their inf intervention, I would not be here today. Hmm, so these are the heroes of Goliath then. Forgive an old knight for his errant tongue. I say, have we met? No, not as such. That is... That is what? Speak plainly. That night in Goliath, it snowed for the first time in years. I remember the sweep of flakes over the harbor, the kit a bitter cold. You were there. Mind your place, Katua. Have you got forgotten why we are here? He's right, sister. This isn't the time. This conflict is larger than us now. Ah, oh, the torching. You would have been children, of, of course. Aye, we attacked that night and what that elements of the resistance lurked in town. False water, yes. I remember it well, as do you, clearly. We were in error, though it ha I hardly expect forgiveness on that count. Still, I can but apologize for all it will do. I was bowing. Who oh, goes? <laughs> <laughs> Enough of this. The Duke awaits our return. Also, impressive that we have Vice with us here. And he's not saying anything. I am sure he's boiling with anger. Oh, I had hoped to speak at greater length. Forgive them. Forgive us, good sir. We will be taking our leave. The visor like out instantly. He knows he will attack. Surprising that it's Cat Yui that's doing most of the flaming. I should bow it at least. <laughs> Was it entirely necessary? <laughs> you recall Ho Hobirim? Mm -hmm. My brother? Aye, he was a staunch ally in the fight. Why? Nothing, only the brother and sister just now put me in mind of him and you. Mm. Interesting. Ah, that was it. Uh,
had I expected something more to happen, but now I want to see. Okay, we don't, didn't get a title for this one. Do they have anything new here? No. I am saddened by the fact. Now, ah, well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save <laughs> again. Just for one simple reason. We might have a fight. Okay, good. We didn't. You set aside your own enmity for a greater valley of good. Such a loyal service will not be forgotten. Would that time afford you more rest? But I must ask you to leave for Balmamusa at once. Balmamusa? That lies in the territory of Galgistani allotted for Velisa rule, no? Velisa rule. <laughs> Camps where our people are forced to live in squalor. It was a mining town once. Coal. Now our kinsmen are herded there like cattle. Some 5,000 labor in Balmamusa. Slaves in all but name. The conditions are horrific beyond words. Scores die by the day. Mm, then it falls to us to free them. You could never free 500, leave alone 5,000. No, you are to incite them to revolt. An arm army 5,000 strong, there for the taking. Yeah. In truth, we cannot stay our course and hope for victory. We are far outmatched. How however slide, we must tip the scales in our favor before Galgistan rule strikes. It all, if all goes well, our bid will widen the rift between Balbus... Balbatos and his enemies at one, at home. He can scarce dispatch troops there here before silencing the cries of dissent, dissent within his own ranks. We cannot let such chance escape us. Hmm. There will be those in Balmamusa with no stomach for fighting, and others who would sooner leave things as they were. Your task is to win will be to win them to our cause. They grow wary of fighting, else they would rally more readily. I can't think of none better to wake the slumbering heroism than young heroes such as yourself. I shall follow at the head of a separate file, bearing arms for them. The Galgastani hold the lands west of Tynemouth. Dame Ravenous will go with you in support. My sword is yours. Yours. Much rests on our on your young shoulders. I pray for your swift return. Okay. That sounds fine enough, I think. I love that they put the uh, chairs back. Like the, uh, there's a lot of attention to detail in this game. Hmm. I'm counting on you, Leona. Do not fail me. No need to worry. Our plans proceed apace. Hmm. What are their plans, we wonder? Revenant joined. As a, uh, and we can go over there. To Lake Bordeaux, Sealed Moors. Anything new here? Ah, there you go. New stuff. Uh, iron claws. And well, first things first. Let's hire. Nothing new. A shame. Fine. We'll bo go ahead and buy then iron claws. It's a little bit higher level than what we have at the moment. Ooh. Ah, oh, that one looks so nice. Uh, oh, heavy axe? Are you serious? Oh, well, I guess that one is two-handed, so it would not be good for... Um, Canopus, right? Oh, Vulge, though. I just got the the other one. The Zistan. It's a little bit better. Uh, a Morning Star. Ooh. I don't think we have anyone... Oh, interesting. The Sibyl Star is two-handed, but this one is one-handed. What is RT? I have no idea. Uh, what about ranged? We have a longbow. Ooh. Has one more range. I kind of want that one. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy one. What about armor? We do have Aspir. We have... Omega's robe. Nice. Ah, but it's high, uh, high level. As is the Aspir. Okay. Ooh, gauntlets. Again. Hmm. <clears throat> we'll see if we... Oh, and also the leggings. But we are not level 6 just yet. We are only level 5. I saw also new spells. 
Like one mastered. Like level seven, level eight, level nine, and everything else we can have. The toxic gas we don't have. Okay, I might get that one then. What is this one? An indirect spell that draws power from the demon with dominion over time to slow a single target. Oh, okay. Does that also do damage, I wonder? Mm, a missile spell that absorbs HP. Down to level A. What is this one? An indirect spell. Ooh. I might buy this one and also Toxic Gas. So that's 1,400 money that we need. Oh. Forgot. I can't sell my stuff. <laughs> like two axes. There you go. 1,000 money already. And two of these. Yeah. That should be fine enough. I like how... Expensive everything is. Uh, and this one, the Meteor Strike. Could also get one of these, right? Oh, Tobilon. I already have that one. It's like, he already has that mastered. So does he have Hypnosis? Yeah. The other ones... What is this one? Air to attached to a single target. Hmm, what does air touch do? Instill air. I think that's like a, a buff. Hmm. But the other one is Pyroguard, Firestorm, Pyroclastic Flow, Breached on a single target. That's Fireguard. Oh, wait, that's not the one I wanted. I thought it was the... Oh, there you go. Instill ice. Ah, uh, why does that... Why don't we have an instill fire? That's a shame. Instill lightning. Should have gone with uh, lightning damage instead of fire. Ah, oh, well. I guess that's fine. Uh, I guess for now it's fine then. Oh, we also have uh, these ones. They're not a higher... Higher um, alchemy. Oh, well, no, never mind. They are. Well, that's bad. <laughs> and then I thought it wasn't. What is this thing? Petrify. Oh, petrify. Ooh. I'm gonna have to fight against those soon, I wonder. Okay, nothing else new here. Okay. Good to know. Hmm, that was a lot of uh, talking. Yeah, it's only like seven minutes afterwards, so that's like after all the... Uh, what's it called? All the... Cutscenes, there you go. Let's go to Trine Mount. Oh wait, never mind, no, let's not go. <laughs> oh, Lancelot. So Lancelot. Ah, Denim. Track me down, did you? Sir Gildas told me you I would find you there. Here. Oh, so you have. Please, come closer. You look troubled. This business in Balmamusa disturbs you. Well, Sir Leonard, Sir Leonard says it would be a dangerous undertaking. Are you frightened? That's not like you. I am not frightened. Oh, there is no shame in admitting fear. We are all afraid at one time or another. <clears throat> Even you? <laughs> More times than I can count. At the first ring of steel, my hands tremble with it. But fear alone cannot kill you. It has no teeth. Mm, it's strange. I tell myself I would gladly die for our cause. But when faced with death, the fear is all too real. Risking your life is one thing. Losing it is another. The best way to aid your people is to stay alive. See the battle true to the end. And there is your sister to think of. Hmm. What about you? Would you die to save the ones you love? What is that? What is that? A music box. 
It belonged to my wife. Your wife? It's been four, no, five years now, before the war with the Empire. They had already begun their advance, and we fled vagrants in our own land. My wife fell ill, and before I knew it, she was gone. I considered following her into death, my thoughts often strayed down that path before battle, but her music box still sang of life, and I knew it was not my time. My burden had not yet reached its end. Oh, I'm sorry. Do not be. One young as you should never be forced to fight, but that is not the world we live in. Still not is. Crazy. Uh, let's see. I just, you know what? I kind of want to hire someone new, so that we can have someone be, uh, what is it called? Uh, so we can have someone uh, be, what is it called? A beastmaster. There you go. Uh. <clears throat> also, I find it funny how uh, young clerics look. They used to be like, oh, you're, you're an old man. Oh, now you're a young guy. Oh, now you're an old man again <laughs> in the Night of Lotus. But in this one, everyone looks like... Young, but an adult. Like, they all look adult, but not elderly. Which is good. Also, are you not cold? Without any uh, sleeves. <laughs> um, I think we'll take this guy, an archer, but I'm gonna change the name. Uh, yep. Yeah. No, 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 no. Everything away. And what kind of character do I want? Mm, that's gonna be hard to change, uh, to pick a name. Something that could be like a beast master. Maybe afterwards even something else. Because uh, there are more classes after all. And uh, stay into one might not be that much fun. Uh... Hmm. No, no, no. I wanted to go back. How about Leonidas? It's like it has Leo in the name. So it's kind of a uh, beast related for the moment. I'm sure they will serve me well. Uh, I hope so. And uh, Leonidas, you're instantly going to change class into a beast tamer. Tick tick tick, and da 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 da. And now we're going to check what you can learn as a. You can subdue a beast. Okay, that's good. Uh, fists, axe, hammers, whips. Accuracy and damage increase with rank. Uh, maybe I give him whips. You don't have... Um, what is gold? Um, what's it called? Crossbows. So I might give them whips. Ah, uh, wait. I have a better name. I have a better name. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, load back and uh, we'll give him a better name now. It's gotta be this guy, right? <laughs> Simon Belmont! <laughs> and yeah, it does have the uh, no space between the, the name, but I should have also done it for Zoe, I think. That would have been a much smarter idea. Um, but you're gonna be a beast tamer. So chick, chick, chick. There you go. Belmont! And we're gonna give you uh, whips. Because I want that. And another one would have been nice, but... Uh, trajectory. I don't have that. That one needs level 3. That's fine. For the other ones, uh, we'll get nothing for now. And uh, something also that I'm not that happy about is... We don't have any whips, that is. So it's going to have to be a hold hammer for now. Or oh, I could give him an axe. Uh, you know what? Hold hammer is kind of better. So interesting that like they gave me like the choice like you want a sword 
Um, can't we swords? Interestingly enough. So that's fine. Maybe they can have like higher ranking swords, maybe? I don't know. But for now, I think this is gonna be fine. These are the only things that they can equip. So, Simon Belmont, you'll be like this for now. Uh, should I give you so uh, hammers as well? No, I think I think we're fine without that one. But I want to give him like subdue for sure. I want to be able to get different kinds of beasts. Oh, I can. Oh wait, no, that's just uh, assign and remove. That's fine then. Uh, you only have whips. It's okay. And I'm pretty sure you can't learn any kind of spell anyway, so that's fine. Uh, so that's good. So with that one now, we'll go ahead and save again. Uh, and then into the new one, and I think I'm gonna even end the episode here. We didn't do any fights, but... I think that's fine. We don't need to be, the, to be fighting every time, right? So then everyone, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye. One thing that I might do is I'm going to go here. Oh wait, I already have that one. <clears throat> there you go. Okay, good. No fight. I uh, kind of expected one, to be honest, but... It's fine if we don't get one. So then everyone, mm, bye.